Hi, my name is Shreen Yates. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Six Sensor Labs. And about 10 years ago, I started to get really sick. No one knew what was wrong. And I found out two years later that I was allergic and sensitive to gluten, dairy, egg, and soy. Never had issues with food before. So mealtime became super stressful. And I used to really look forward to it, best time of the day. But suddenly, I was worried about how that next bite was going to affect my health. Now, a few years ago, I was at a wedding. And I asked the waitress who brought by these delicious looking appetizers, is there gluten in that? And she said, how allergic are you? I was so tired of that question. I said, what if I could just take a sample of this and just test it on the spot to know, to empower myself with that data and know whether that next bite is going to be safe. And that's what inspired me to go to grad school at MIT. I met my co-founder, Scott Sunvor. We were really passionate because, and, and uh, and bonded over our shared uh, perpetual intestinal distress, which is a strong bond for co-founders. And we launched Six Sensor Labs. Um, Nima is our first product. So we started because eating is a gamble. And it's a gamble, not the good kind of Vegas gamble, the really bad gamble. That, and we don't think anyone should have bad odds when they're eating their food. And this is, this is a gamble because there's hidden threats in our food that affect us, whether it's allergens, bacteria, and it affects us with, you could get a headache, a stomachache, or a trip to the hospital. This is a huge issue that affects millions of people in the United States. In fact, one out of three people every year in the US gets sick from their food, whether that's food poisoning or food allergies. And it's a growing problem, a huge growing problem. There's been a 50% increase of food allergies among kids over the last 15 years in the US. And it's a huge growing concern for food retailers. People want to make sure that the food that they're putting in front of you is safe. Food re retailers are spending billions on food recalls. Over 50% of recalls are due to undeclared allergens. Huge problem, growing problem. And so that's why we designed the NEMA, because we wanted to give this trust, this transparency and safety back to the consumer and actually let them test their food before they eat it and make sure that they're going to be safe so that they don't have to deal with that sickness and those repercussions. And we designed this to be a very consumer-friendly product. It had to be really easy, fast, and sensitive. This has to have lab quality sensitivity. So I want to show you guys how it works. We'll, we'll show a demo here. Uh, so I have, I have some food here uh, that uh, we ordered it. They told us that it was gluten-free, uh, but I don't really know. So I've already loaded uh, some of this salad dressing into one sensor, and I'm going to test these fries. A lot of times fries are um, put in oil that has other things with wheat in it, and so I want to make sure that it's not uh, cross-contaminated. So you just put the food in, screw this cap on, and that starts processing the food, and then place that in the sensor. This one's already preloaded, so we're going to turn that on. And now this will test our food and uh, gives a result in about uh, one to two minutes. And then you find out if the food is safe or not. And so while that's running, the, the way that this works is this is chemistry-based technology. So within each capsule, we actually have a solution that extracts the gluten into solution and breaks the chemical bonds between the gluten and the food so that we can then detect it. And that uh, gluten solution is then transported to antibody-based chemistry within the device that the antibodies capture those gluten proteins, and then that causes a color change, which our sensor can detect. So really within this device, there's, uh, there's a lot of chemistry. There, this is a lab-quality product, but from the user's perspective, it's really easy, really simple, really fast. And this is a platform. So this isn't just a one product company. But the way that we've designed the hardware is that that chemistry that I mentioned, we can very quickly change that chemistry and the, the test strip and the solution. And then we can test for other things. So we already have peanut and dairy in development. And we'll test for other allergens, other pathogens, and eventually get into uh, food retailers, uh, manufacturers, and restaurants. And each one of these tests is a data point. So when this test result happens, and here you can see uh, there's a smiley face for the fries. So those were gluten-free. Um, the, uh, the salad dressing was not gluten-free, actually. So that's good to know. But every time we take a test like this and we see that test result, then we share that information out. And so if you're looking for something to eat, you can go on our app. You can see what has been tested, what's been verified, and actually make some decisions with uh, real data points. Um, since these fr fries are gluten-free, I'm going to have one because I am starving. <laughs>
So life-changing, the two words that we hear most from the people in our community, and we have over 20,000 people who've signed up for just Nema gluten alone, and that's growing every year. We plan to get this product in the hands of the millions that really need it, um, first direct to consumer online, and then scaling through major retailers as we grow our big uh, portfolio of other products, and then finally distribute through doctor's offices in the medical community so we can provide them better tools. We're pricing the sensor at $249, the disposable at $3.99 per disposable, and the subscri subscription model of 12 pods per month. And that and our users see a lot of value in bringing peace of mind back to mealtime with those price points. We have the best team in the world to bring this product to market with experience on high volume consumer electronics, designed and shipped also high volume uh, medical devices. This is the perfect backdrop to bring NEMA to life. So we are Six Sensor Labs. NEMA is our first product. We launched pre-orders on nemasensor.com. For everyone you know who has a gluten sensitivity or allergy, tell them to pre-order today. Thank you so much. All right. Sharing is caring, by the way, with that food. Yeah, you, you want some? Judges, you know, go yeah, ahead. Funny. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so um, I actually love getting the question, how sensitive are you? Because the answer is, I'm sensitive, but not very. And, you know, it's... A, It'd be a big problem if I had celiacs. Um, yes. I guess my um, uh, my question is, how much uh, money have you um, raised for this already? How much money have we yeah. raised to date? We've raised 4.8 million to date. Um, you're doing pre-sales, but you're shipping when? Um, we are shipping this year, and okay. we're, we just launched our pre-sale. Yeah. You're not going to be more definitive about that? By <laughs> mid, mid this year. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Later. Much okay. Later. Uh, yeah, it's I not can. ready now. In Later slash soon. Yeah. Matt? Will anyone? the other allergens use the same sensor? Yeah, so the other allergens will use the exact same hardware and uh, just would be a different capsule. So you would get one capsule for peanut, one for dairy, one for gluten. So you guys make money on the sensor, you make money on the disposable, and then are you going to make money on the software? That's a great question. So initially, to make that data available, we, we're not monetizing it, but there's a lot of opportunity as we think about building this internet of food, not only for consumers, but also for retailers, CPG companies, manufacturing a little more upstream. Do you have to seek FDA approval for this? This is not a diagnostic. So we're positioning this product as giving you extra information about that next bite of food you're about to take, and it's up to you to make a decision of how you want to move forward with that data, so no. So if you want to have a bad time, you can still eat the gluten, <laughs> right? Yeah. Great. Do you get sensitivity levels, you know, at, per the, like, how sensitive are you? Yeah, so uh, we can detect a semi-quantitative level. It's not um, an exact uh, number, but what we, what we know is that the device is 99% accurate at the 20 part per million level, so we'll give a binary yes or no for that. And then on the app, we can actually provide some more information. So semi-quantitative, um, a bit of a range for people that might be somewhat sensitive and want to understand that a little better. But to start, it's a binary yes or no set at a very specific amount, which is 20 parts per million, which is what is considered gluten-free. How about uh, just general, I have two questions, general safety. So how safe are the chemicals that are there? Could I, could I eat them? Um, Can I drink it? They, they won't kill you. Um, we don't advise you to eat them or drink them, but they won't kill you. <laughs> yeah. He's like really <laughs> hungry. Yeah, <they're> really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have fries and salad right over there. I'm happy to bring um, it over. <laughs> no, I just think that's important because a, yeah. a lot of times you're going to give this to kids and things like that. That's right. right. That, um, and then the second question is, $4 to test fries that probably cost you two. That, that seems expensive. It, it seems like a high cost to, to understand things. You, you have to be very careful about what you go test then, right? Yeah, so we think that people at this price point are, are going to be testing those higher risk situations. The use is two to three times a week when they're eating out. They're not really sure exactly what's in their food. And these are our starting price points. You know, as we iterate, hit volumes and, and design, we plan to make this product as accessible as possible. How many of these are in the real world right now being used? Do you have any testing? Yeah, we have a beta program going, so we have uh, about 25 of them out in the wild that came from uh, the manufacturing line. So we're testing those, getting real feedback from consumers, and uh, we believe really strongly in testing. Uh, we did it very early on, we keep doing it now, so we'll be continuing to do betas up until the point when we launch. This thing is vibrating and showing the sun. 
What does that mean? <laughs> that, that is a progress indicator. And the vibrating that you feel, uh, that's the, the test running. So um, we have okay. motors in there that actually process the food so that sure. I mentioned it's like a lab test. There's, for those lab tests, it's about five to ten steps. Those steps are all still there, but the device just does it for you. Symbolically, we're shedding the light on your plate. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. You must have went to MIT. <laughs> yeah. Design speaking to you. <laughs> so, um... You know, I, you know, I I would get it because I'm, I'm sensitive, I, but I, so I don't really need it, but I also just love any gadget available. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, But it seems like the real market is people with celiacs and uh, other things that I don't know about. Um, how many people have celiacs in the country? So it's a great question in terms of market. 90 million people in the U.S. are actively avoiding gluten because they think they're reacting to it. Of those, 3 million have celiac disease, which is that autoimmune disease, and then over 18 million have non-celiac gluten sensitivity, which is also a physical reaction to the protein. So over 20 million actually have a visceral physical, physical reaction you, to the protein. You just said you were really targeting the people with extreme reactions that 20 million. at this price point. So that 20 million. Okay. So yeah. that's not just people with some sensitivity. Like, gluten makes me cough. And no, so we, we wouldn't deal. expect, yeah, I mean, you're, in, in you're, fact, my, my you're not our target. My cough today is caused by gluten. Yeah, you're not, you're, you wouldn't be our target if you have a cough. It's, it's, you, it's really going to hinder your, did you get some gluten in, in Vegas? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Whenever I travel. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we need to get written. a new one to you. Can you tell us more about the team beyond you and your investors and... Totally. Yeah. So our team um, of 17, mostly on the hardware engineering side, firmware electronic, um, we just brought on a head of engineering as well. Um, we have a great sales and marketing team who's in the audience. Um, and then our en investors, uh, round was led by Upfront, um, Softech, Lemnos Labs. Um, and then we have some great angel investors, including Mitch Kapoor, um, as well as Matt Rogers, founder of Nest. You guys good to go? Oh, IP. Uh, IP. Yeah, because that chemistry is pretty, pretty known, right, that you just talked about there. Yeah, so uh, a lot of our IP is around the, the sample prep, so actually the mechanical design, the integration of this chemistry into the device itself. So we are patent pending. Um, we have another two provisional patents that we'll be converting soon. But um, we, we do have some potential for um, IP on the chemistry, but really a lot of it is that combination of all of it. Is, is anybody else making a portable gluten sensor? There are, there's an emerging uh, technology in just helping people better understand food. You know, you can see some scanners using spectroscopy at that, giving you higher level information, you know, at the nutritional level. But no one's going to the part per million level, which is what you need for gluten. We're the only ones doing that as a consumer product that's easy to use. Now we're good. Brian, you sure? Okay, cool. All right. Double checking. Thanks. All right, give it up for Six Sensor Labs. Okay, judges. So you said you got a cough. Four dollars a pop isn't worth it for you, for your cough? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> it is? You want one. I love gadgets. You want me to get you that one? Could you? I have one right here. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. One of 25. What about you, Matt? I know this uh, touches your uh, heartstrings. Four dollars is, is the right price. My daughter has celiac, and my, my wife went off gluten in solidarity to her and when you go off gluten you become sensitive to it and so four dollars is a small price to pay to not ruin date night because she knows what has gluten in it but sometimes things get cross-contaminated and sometimes things or dressings you know or dressings, stuff like yeah. that sauce soy sauce has gluten in it a lot of people don't know that i also have gluten in me i like to travel because then i get gluten at home, I don't. Brian, what are your thoughts? You get really into that iPad, like real quick. I'm just making sure just, you have all the data. I so just want your attention. Um, he's, he's not surfing the web, I can vouch for <laughs> I, I, I actually think it's it. good technology, and it sounds like they've got defensible IP, and I think for the user base that, like we talked about, right, people with celiac, uh, there are other uh, sensitivities that people have. My wife is... Uh, uh, lactose intolerant, and there's often, you know, you go and you wonder whether this ice cream or this uh, uh, sorbet has l lactose or not. It would be, it would be good. I think it's going to have a limited, the question is how big of a scale can they, they approach? How many people are going to be willing to pay $4 per, per sample? I, I, you know, that's going to be the question that I'm trying to understand or think about. That's fair. 
I mean, I think for them to break out of the 20 million person market, it's going to have to get faster, be cheaper, and hit multiple allergens in one test. I'm curious if six sensor. Do you know how many people have a peanut allergy? So 3 million with a peanut allergy and 50 million people who have a diagnosed food allergy. Food sensitivity. Okay, so 50 million, 3 million, whatever. All right.